Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Something a little different for you guys. Typically I film daily vlogs and put them up on this channel. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're a viewer of the channel, welcome to 15 hunting gift ideas. I figured I'd make a video like this because I get a lot of questions. People asking about certain products I use. I don't cover everything, but I have 15 items or product categories that I think would make a great gift ideas for someone who is a hunter. So we're gonna jump right into it. My dog is going crazy. We're just gonna jump right into it. These are all out of order. There's no um, purpose or order or dollar value or anything. 15 items I think would make a great Christmas gift. The first one being a Garmin inReach. This is the first year I used a Garmin inReach. It is a satellite device that allows you to text. It also has an SOS button. Um, which could be very important if you're like me and you like to go on solo trips, you're out of phone service. If you need help, you can hit SOS, search and rescue will come find you. It'll ping the location. Next one is printing a photo on canvas. So if you guys are looking for a gift for someone who hunts, um, somehow collect secretly, maybe not secretly, but ask for a copy of one of their favorite photos, whether it's a family photo, a shed hunting photo, or a filled photo of one of their favorite hunts and print it on canvas. I love photos. I have them in my house and I have them out here in the shop and it's a great gift. Next thing we have is trekking poles. I always thought these were kind of silly. Used to make fun of them myself before I used them. But hiking poles are very valuable when you hunt steep, rugged terrain and if, you're, uh, if you have a heavy backpack. So if you're a shed hunter or you're just packing out a lot of gear um, or maybe an elk or a deer, Trekking poles are huge. There's all kinds of brands out there. And uh, so far I've broken every pair I've had. So I don't really have a specific brand, but a pair of trekking poles is definitely a good Christmas gift. All right, next up is Hush branded lifestyle gear. I think it makes a great gift. It's affordable for pretty much anyone. We have hats, hoodies, shirts, uh, some archery equipment and some small things that can go as well, but get hushin.com. Uh, so yeah, shameless plug for Hush brand. I think it would make a perfect gift for just about anybody. Okay, next up is an all-in digiscoping system. If you guys know what digiscoping is, it is where you attach your smartphone to a spotting scope or some type of optic. Right now, all-in digiscoping setup is for spotting scope only. Binoculars are coming soon. Um, so all-in, use code ERIC. If you're buying it as a gift, just make sure you know their phone and what optic they have, and you'll get the whole kit. It comes with the magnetic lens piece as well. Okay, next up would be to upgrade your optics. So there's range finders, rifle scopes, uh, binoculars, or spotting scopes. So this category is obviously one of the more expensive ones, but if you can afford it and you know that uh, whoever you're buying a gift for needs new optics, definitely give them an, up, an upgrade. I use Vortex, they're very affordable with a lifetime warranty that's unbeatable. All right, the next gift idea is building like a custom, it's not like a safety kit that can go inside a backpack. There are multiple small items that I take on every shed hunt, every hike, every hunt, etc. So here are a few things that I would put in such a kit. I'd have a lighter and fire starter, Hush sells fire starter on our website, the Pyro Putty. I would have iodine tablets, some first aid equipment like bandages, gauze, maybe some uh, ibuprofen or painkiller type of stuff. Maybe even some sleep aid, because uh, we're always using that while we're out. Um, paracord can be used for all kinds of stuff. A blister kit. Those are just a few items I'd have. Put it in a small zipper pouch of some kind and just, it's kind of like that. You know, it goes everywhere with you. You can throw it in a backpack and it's super easy to build. Okay, the next one would be to upgrade the sleep system. So the sleep system includes a sleeping bag, a blow up pillow or some type of camping pillow and a mattress, most likely a blow up mattress if you're hunting like I do in the back country. So if you just want to upgrade one of those things, obviously it's uh, you know more affordable to do one thing or maybe just like a blow up pillow and a nice blow up mattress. There's tons of brands out there that you can do it with. Um, so nothing specific, just find something you like. Tons of stuff on Amazon, tons of stuff even at Walmart, Sportsman's Warehouse or Cabela's. All right, guys, the next one is one I finally bought myself. It is a small glassing chair. These are tiny, lightweight, uh, compact, and break, um, you know, they break down. They're small glassing chairs that you can throw in your backpack. They're comfortable. They sit very low to the ground. I bought one. I can't remember the brand. I'll put a picture of it right here. Um, but these are sweet. They're on Amazon. I'm sure other sporting goods off, um, 
I'm sure other sporting goods stores have them. Myself, I'm usually sitting on the rock with a sore butt and now I finally got myself this chair and I love it. So that's a great gift idea as well. Okay, next up we have Mountain Ops. There's all kinds of bundles and systems. If you know someone is looking to get in shape, obviously we got the new year coming up. They wanna be in shape for their elk hunts next year or just get in shape in general or just have an energy drink. Literally there's all kinds of products at Mountain Ops. And um, now through December 4th, up to 50% off on the Hush Lemonade Signature Series and then 30% off storewide with code HUSH. So yeah, check that out. There's so many products and flavors. Sometimes that's something that people want. They just don't want to spend money on, so it makes a great gift in my opinion. All right, another gift idea for hunters is Rack Hub, um, which I have in my shop here. It is so you can mount shed antlers or uh, cutoffs. If you had an old, say your, say your friend had an old buck and they didn't have it on a skull plate, they want it mounted on something better, you can cut those off and put them on a Rack Hub. Or if you're like me and you have a stack of shed, shed antlers and you want to display them, you can uh, display them on a rack hub system. But there's other things like mountain mics, European skulls. Um, there's all type of uh, hanging kits if they have like a taxidermy head or European mount that they want to hang. So just in general, a gift idea is something to do with taxidermy shed antlers and displaying their trophy. All right, number 12, a kill kit. So what I consider a ki good kill kit would include um, deer game bags. We sell those on the Hush website. Uh, so you're going to have your game bags, you're going to have a knife. I personally have a Havilon replaceable blade knife and it goes everywhere with me in my backpack. So that's in the kill kit. And honestly, you know, three or four pairs of really heavy duty thick latex gloves, not the cheap ones, um, more like the heavy duty ones that you get like at a mechanical shop or Ace Hardware. That's what I like to have. They're more durable and again, they just keep the blood and all the nonsense out of your fingernails and whatnot. Um, I've done it both ways, but I do prefer to have latex gloves if they're there. So kill kit's a great gift idea as well. All right, next up is a Camp Chef Striker. And I say that because this goes with me almost everywhere. If it's not with me in my backpack, it's at least at the pickup truck because as hunters who are always out there, we're looking for a hot meal so we can boil water and add it to dehydrated meals. We can use this to cook you know things like oatmeal and i don't know it's just always good to have a small stove to cook food get warm and uh, the camp chef striker is great it's got a striker on it hence the name the camp chef striker there's also other accessories you can get to build on it for uh, pots and pans and whatnot but even just a striker alone with the tube frame and everything fits inside and closes down and collapses in there um, so a striker and some fuel some small fuel tanks Okay, one thing you can do and you can't go wrong is buy ammo for uh, whoever you're gifting. Find out their favorite hunting rifle or handgun, um, whatever they use and you know, find out what specific ammo they use. Go buy a box or two of those. It's nice to have these things because we're always going to use it. We always want it. And again, sometimes we just don't want to spend money on it. So it's a great gift because it's always going to get used. And for those of you who are looking for an archery hunter, a good gift would be a very durable, hard bow case. Um, whether they're traveling or not, I travel a lot and fly a lot. So I have the, is it BKE? I can't even remember, but it's a hard bow case that you put your bow in, you put some extra clothing in, maybe your binoculars in, and it's very sturdy and durable. It's great for travel, but honestly, even just for cruising around town, it's always nice to have a, a hard bow case because heck, we're spending a grand, maybe even up to two grand after it's all said and done on these bow setups. So a hard case would be a great gift. Okay, a couple random things I just wanted to put in here at the very end, like stocking stuffers would be um, Hush seasonings. So these seasonings are on the Get Hushin store and they're specifically formulated for wild game. So if you have a hunter who has all kinds of meat or a fisherman who has a ton of fish, uh, you're gonna want these seasonings. We have six flavors right now. You can buy a six pack for like 55 bucks. So that's a great stocking stuffer. Other great stocking stuffer ideas are water bottles or an algae bottle. Um, we've got a lens cloth for your optics, hand warmers, the ones that you peel open and they get oxygen, they're super warm. I use those through the entire winter on every hunt. Um, dehydrated meals are a great stocking stuffer. So another thing that we always want on the mountains, but we don't necessarily want to spend our money on. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully you found it helpful to get a tip or two for uh, some holiday Christmas shopping uh, for a hunter or maybe even just a gift for yourself. You got everything from the smallest stuff to the most expensive stuff on the list. Obviously there's other things out there like a new hunting rifle or a new bow. 
Um, but you guys know that kind of stuff. So these are some of the items that I use in the field that I thought would be helpful to pass it on to you guys. For any of the things that I did list that I'm affiliated with, I'll have the discount codes and the links directly in the description box. Anything else, you can go ahead and shop Amazon, maybe Sportsman's Warehouse or Cabela's. And uh, I hope you guys have a good Christmas. I hope this was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comment section. And if you have any other gift ideas for anybody who's watching this film, put them in the comment thread, help each other out, get some good gifts this year, and also have a great holiday season, guys. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.